this episode I'm going to be talking about some older manual Nikon lenses that work great on new DSLRs, have great image quality, and best of all, you can pick them up for cheap. lenses I'm going to be talking about today are a couple of Nikon 50mm pancake lenses. The first one is the Series E and the second one is the Nikkor. Both of them are 50mm 1.8. A pancake lens just means that the lens has a really short barrel. These two lenses are right on the blurry line in between a regular lens and a pancake lens. Some purists actually say that they're not a pancake lens because they're a couple hairs too thick, but whatever. Both of these are prime lenses, which means that they have a fixed focal length. These are both 50 millimeter, meaning that on a DX body, such as the Nikon D5100, D3000, D7000, they're gonna actually be 75 millimeters because of the crop factor. Both of these lenses were produced in the 1980s and both are fully manual, which means that you have a focus ring and an aperture ring, which might not be familiar for people with newer cameras. It may sound like a pain to have to do everything manually, but I really recommend it for DSLR beginners because it will immerse you in learning all the settings that you have to do to get good exposure. Letting the camera do all the work for you is easy, but your images and video will come out much better if you set all the settings yourself and customize them for each lighting situation. That being said, these lenses may look the same, but let's do some tests and see what the images say. All of these clips were done with the aperture set to 2.8, which is the sharpest setting for both lenses. When you use them at 1.8, the subject in focus has soft edges and does not look as good. Most of the clips here, the quality looks about the same. The color saturation on the Nikkor is a bit better. This is the most dramatic difference I saw in testing. The multi-coated surface really handles this sunlight well, while with the Series E, a lot of detail on the leaves and tree are lost. The E-Series might have been part of Nikon's entry-level lineup during the 80s, but don't let that fool you. The build quality is really great. In my opinion, the winner here is the Nikkor. Nikon gave it the Nikkor label for a reason, and the multi-coated surface improves your image a bit. But it might be harder to find, as the Series E is a really popular used lens. I've seen these lenses going for between $40 and $120. I would recommend trying to find one for $70 or less. When buying any used lenses, the most important part is that the glass is in good shape. Look out for dust, fungus, or haze in the lens elements. And you're going to want to make sure that the aperture and focus rings are still working properly. This Nikkor that I picked up has some wear and tear on the paint, but the glass is in perfect shape, so I could care less for the price. These lenses are compact, and when you put the caps on, you could stick them right in your pocket, making them easy to carry along with you. If you want to force yourself to become an expert, in focus, shutter speed, and aperture, I would pick up one of these lenses. 